हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल आर गुड एंड ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फ्लोट मैग्नेटिक सेंसर सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री आर फ्लोट मैग्नेटिक सेंसर तो देर विल बी कंटिन्यूटी सो इन दिम सो एज सोन एज इट विल गो इन दी वाटर देर इज ए कंटिन्यूटी एज सोन एज इट विल कम आउट देर इज नो कंटिन्यूटी फ्लोट सेंसर इज वर्किंग एज ए स्विच ओ Uh, there are various type of float magnetic sensor which are utilized in the industry to sense the level of the liquid uh, and this is the floating part this is the moving part so there is a reed switch inside this sensor i am going to show you the working how it's working uh, they come in two logic either the continuity of these two wire will be made when this moving part will go up or the continuity will be made while this moving part is down so if i talk about internal science behind uh, the sensor then this is the reed switch this is the reed switch this reed these two legs will get connected with each other when a magnet will come in contact with or uh, in the vicinity of this reed switch i will give the link of another video which will show you how magnetic sensor is working so how it's working first of all i'm going to show you the video so set the multimeter on continuity now you can sense the sound of the multimeter now there is no continuity okay if i'll take this magnet near to this one then you will see there will be continuity now you can see sound is coming means continuity is made as soon as this magnet will go away then there will be no continuity as soon as this magnet will come so there will be continuity so in the similar way this float sensor is working so there is a reed switch inside this rod and this is the round magnet around it so whenever this magnet will go near to reed switch so connection will be built and you can sense this that continuity over here on these two point when this magnet is down then there will be no continuity and how it's working i'm going to show you so all these three things sensor are same so this is the water this is the sensor you can see that as soon as it will go in the water the moving part will come in upward direction because this is the plastic part right now i'm going to show you the working the multimeter already set on the continuity now you can see that there is a continuity as soon as it will come out of the water then you will see there is no continuity right these are the two wire of the sense float sensor so as soon as it will go in the water there is a continuity as soon as it will come out there is no continuity i'm going to show you through a small circuit right so i'm going to glow the led so this is the led with 100 ohm resistor and not 100 ohm it's a resistor of like 220 ohm and this is the battery so the positive is already given to this resistor as soon as it will get negative then you can see led is glowing but i will make the connection through this float magnetic sensor now you can see led is off because there is no connection made float sensor is working as a switch over here and you can give data to the microcontroller as well from this magnetic sensor by using it as a switch now if you will use buzzer instead of this then you can show the buzzer as well like this is the buzzer take out this led and use this buzzer this is the plus and this is the minus see buzzer is sounding now you can see as simple as that so this is how magnetic sensor float magnetic sensor works now i am going to show you on the paper how it's working so 
so this is the read switch in which there are two contact plate which will get contact with each other and these are the two legs so this is a magnet so this is basically a read switch this is the read switch and uh, this is the magnet okay which will generate the magnetic field as soon as magnetic field will come so these two point will get source to eat each other so it's acting as a switch so these two point will get source to each other and the sort based on whether magnetic field is in uh, near the vicinity of this read switch or not right and how you can use in circuit like this is acting as a read switch read switch okay acting as a switch so you can directly use these two point in circuits and you can also use this read switch to provide one or zero to the microcontroller how like this is microcontroller and this is the pin of microcontroller any pin this is microcontroller now microcontroller need one or zero so for this you can take one 10k register connect this to this one over here read use a read switch read switch as a switch you know that how it's working this is the ground this is 5 volt 5 volt okay so as soon as this switch will get press means as soon as magnet will come in uh, contact with this read switch so uh, connection will be built zero will go to the microcontroller because ground will be sorted to this wire and whenever there is no magnetic field near this read switch this is acting as a read switch whenever there is no magnetic field near to this read switch then one will be given to the microcontroller so you can give either one or zero through this read switch or float magnetic sensor or you can say magnetic sensor so this is all about this float magnetic sensor thank you very much for watching this video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel for more such innovative future videos thank you